was very active. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to Now Sip This. In today's episode, we have an extra special guest, Ellen. Hi guys. Hey, come. That was like a normal sip <laughs> time. So in today's episode, we will be reviewing House. It's a super convenient new band. <laughs> so what you did there. So we're going to try the three variants. There's Yugo, Seiko, and Risotto. Yes. Mm. So Erin, with ready to drinks, what exactly do we have to look out for? Well, there's a few things you actually want to look out for when you're ready to drink. Number one being what it tastes like. Secondly, is it easy to carry, is it easy to pack away? And then thirdly, definitely how it looks out. You know, you want to make it look pleasing. It's your glass and your drink all in one. So you definitely want to make a, make a statement about it. The usual wine taste, you normally start from dry on your way to sweet. So I think you can start with the second one. Awesome! I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, so first, out the back. On shelf, it breaks through the clutter. It looks completely different to what other cans look like. I really like the way it feels in my hand. It's quite a thin, narrow, mm -hmm. it's a, the sleek Back. can design. Unlike anything else I've seen mm -hmm. on shelf today for a, a ready to drink uh, can format in, in terms of wine. Branding and definitely yeah. visible. You know what the brand is, you know what it's about. It tells you exactly it's a fizzy white uh, wine drink. And what's also quite cool is that it's a 200 ml. A cup of something is 250. So 200 ml is like a single, single serve. serve, the ultimate glass of wine, just yeah. what you need. Let's taste it. So good bubbles, good color. I'm definitely getting the top notes of, of white wine already. Mmm. Yeah. See what it tastes like. Mmm. It is super fresh for me and mm. reminds me of summer picnics. Off the bat, definitely a, a dry white white flavor profile. It dances on the tongue. It does. Fresh, easy going, you know, not too heavy. Mm. Has a good linger on the palate. And you definitely get the wine experience with it, with the added fizz of it being a, a ready to drink, bubbly wine. Yes, you get the standard, you know, Sauvignon Blanc or Merlot, Merlot, Merlot in the can. But these are sparkling formats, which definitely add a little bit of extra, you know, um, fun to it. Yeah. Mm. That's nice. Oh, it's mm. interesting. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Is it good? No, it's down. It's just. Okay, next. Cool. We're gonna go into the risotto version, which is the rosé one. Mm -hmm. Pretty in pink, obviously. Oh, you're supposed to pass me one. Ooh, so, you like this one? Like it. I like this shade of pink as yeah. well. So this one has an ABV of 10%. We really? like so a lot. It's a nice in between from your standard cooler of like 6% mm -hmm. and a bottle of wine of like 14. And the seco is 10% too. Let's taste. Let's taste. I legit thought it was going to be a lighter colour. There you go. I get a lot of flowery goodness. Normally you get rosé that are very, very strawberry focused. This is actually not that and more floral scented and mm. a lot lighter. And I really like the it's are dark. I know. Again, I've never really associated rosé with this shade of hair. Mm. They're usually quite lighter. Mm -hmm. The longer the skin is on the grape, the deeper the red is. Like rosé, the skin on the grape has been there for, I need to fact check myself, but I think it's like <laughs> maybe a week, a week or two. Darker, deeper rosés have been on for skin contact's been a lot longer. Ooh. So similar to the Seco, lots of bubbles, lots of freshness. You, you get the flavour notes like straight away. Good mouthfeel. Base flavour to it, you're getting the, the wine, deep rosé mm. notes of it. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's like, this is good. I like the way it feels in my mouth. It is mm. quite light and yeah. smooth. So it's not like this intense bubbles, like you normally get from a champagne or something. Yeah. A lot more subtle and it's like a tickle, like a bit of a tease at the end, not like that in your face. <laughs> Perfect for you know, throwing in your bag and when you for, for drinks, private friend houses. Mm -hmm. Cool safe, no glasses, nothing to break. Always a winner. Next, let's go. Let's do it. We're going to try the Yugo. All these colors, I think they've got a really strong palette. Mm -hmm. Sparkling cocktail. It says it's elderflower and lime flavored. I love an elderflower. Me too, definitely. Oh. And you cannot go wrong with lime. Let's try And this one is an ABV of 6.9. A little bit lighter, maybe something start the night off with. You know why I got a fight. <laughs> I watched you open it. Oh, so it's quite like okay. almost a clear, clear liquid. It smells nice. It smells really up again. Definitely. Right? 
I can't <laughs> quite place the scent, mm -hmm. but it's something. I think it's a distinct fragrance. I'm just not sure what it yeah. is. <laughs> Light is going. The elderflower definitely is more of a secondary place and an after flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not like the first thing that it's your. It's your, your palette. I definitely get the citrusy notes of the lime. Yeah. If you look for something yes. unique that you want to like, you know, get people excited about and be like, you definitely not try something like this. And yeah. I think this is something you want to go for. I haven't tasted something like this mm -hmm. before. I can't quite place what it's inspired by. Yeah. But it's definitely interesting. Do you know what's quite weird? I, like I said, I can't place it, but I keep yeah, it's, myself. It's a definitely an I want some more kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> One yeah. sip on it. And loads of ice. Quickly pour this over and serve it. You can't go wrong. Definitely zingy. Definitely fresh. Definitely sweet. Definitely unique. And I definitely think that canned wines are here to stay. Thank you so much for watching. Now sip this. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you think. Clink. Cheers.